We get a lot of questions about one meal a day intermittent fasting. In this video, we're going to show you how Keith has used it to keep his body burning fat. Hi, I'm Dr. Becky. I'm a college instructor of the Science of Nutrition. And I'm Dr. Keith. I'm a chiropractor in private practice for the past 26 years. And you're watching Two Fit Docs, where we take weight loss resistance and turn it into weight loss results. And we always are following you as you're going on this weight loss journey. And we wanted to share with you uh, the, the when and the what does it look like of your strategy for one meal a day intermittent fasting. So go. What, when do you use it? Okay, so when, well, how often I use it, it's pretty sporadically. So mm -hmm. maybe once every two or three weeks. Okay. Um, typically, I need to do it on a day when I'm very busy. Yeah. So a, a full busy day at the, at the office. Um, a lot of times it's a weekend day here when I'm, I'm busy doing projects mm -hmm. all day long. Yeah. Um, I give you a lot, so yeah, you're, you're welcome. Try to get them all done. Right. Yes. yes. It's been very mm -hmm. important in my weight loss. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so I can work all day and not be thinking about it. And that's mm -hmm. one of the important things for me. Absolutely. Um, you know, a lot of times with snacking and those types of issues, it's kind of down to boredom. So mm -hmm. when I'm busy, I can, I can go for a long time. And typically, so I'll work all throughout the day, then comes dinner time. Right, and so, so then, so you will have your one meal a day at the dinner hour, typically. And so, what does your one meal a day look like? Typically, it's a pretty robust meal, probably more than I might have at, at any single meal mm -hmm. otherwise. Um, I might even have, you know, big omelet or eggs and, and sausage, you know, something that's really, really filling. Typically, by that time, I'm starting to get a little bit of hunger. Imagine. Mm -hmm. um, it's not terrible. I mean, okay. it's it's certainly manageable. Um, you know, other other times, if I'm if I'm still busy, I you know I might do a blended coffee, uh, maybe throw a little bit of extra butter and cream in it, just to you know bump up the the calories a little bit. I will say though that I typically at that meal I'm not eating what I would typically eat in calorie wise for the whole day. Okay, right. Um, so when you uh, your strategy for one meal a day. Uh, intermittent fasting is that you're keeping your fat content high, your protein content high, your carbs are still low. Right. Um, and, and so that's how you handle it. I will tell you, uh, looking through the, the blogosphere, is that what they call it? Yeah. Uh, the, the bloggers are, are, seem to be all over the place with one meal a day um, fasting, and, which kind of brings us into that you know, we, we walk that line of fad and science. Uh, some, of, some of the things I've read out there on blogs is it doesn't matter what you eat, uh, how many calories you consume, junk food's fine, uh, you know, as long as you consume it in that one hour window. Well, the research um, is, is where we need to look at to see, to get away from some of the craziness. Right. Uh, unfortunately, I guess, a lot of the research on one meal a day fasting has been done on mice. Um, there was a small study that we came across that used human participants. The interesting thing about it was that they took the, the group, split them into two, um, fed them the same number of calories for the, for the day. The only difference was that one, one of the groups ate all of those calories in one meal and the other group split those calories between three meals of the day. Right. And, uh, at the end of the study, what they found was the one meal a day fasters had 4% better, I think it was weight loss, not fat loss, but weight loss, I right. think it was, um, and uh, better cholesterol profile and uh, better fasting glucose levels. So there was evidence that even though you're eating the same amount of calories, if you consume them in one meal, you're going to get better weight loss and, and health benefits. Small study, but intriguing nonetheless. Um, you have used it, though, as a way to kind of throw your body a curveball. Absolutely, yeah. And, and I don't, like I said, that study doesn't, doesn't say, um, you know, for prolonged use. Now, they did it for a period of, of I believe it was time, eight weeks. Eight weeks. Um, so I don't know what, as far as body composition, periodic body composition, what that would do. Mm -hmm. I use, like I said, pretty sporadically. Mm -hmm. um, and mine, mine, what I do is not isocaloric based on my other days of the week. I'm not eating the same amount of calories yep. that I'm typically eating. And that, maybe that has some effect on that as well. So, yeah. All right. So, so there you have it. Uh, we do feel that eating one meal a day uh, can be a ver an effective 
tool in your toolbox as you are losing weight. Uh, throw your body, throw your metabolism a curveball. Keep it guessing. You don't want your metabolism to uh, adapt right. to your your routine. And this this is just one more way for you to do it. And you might see things in in comments for different things. Uh, o M A D. Yes. Um, it took me a, a, just a little bit to kind of piece yeah. that together. What but could it's that one one mean, meal a day. Right? O M A D. So if you see that, that's what they're talking about. Yep. Okay. There you go. Thanks. All right.